Okay, so now you want to know all the different, um, the work that you're doing on Instagram, is it really, is it really paying off? Well, let's find out by checking out our insights. So if you've set up an Instagram business page, as I've done on this one, then you will be able to start looking at insights. And so it's a little bar graph on the top right of your profile page. If we hit that, you can now look at what your top photos are, what kind of engagement you're getting here. So if you look at impressions, it's the number of times your photo has been shown on somebody's screen. And you can look at weeks prior and see how you're evolving. And then it's also going to show you top posts. So it's going to show you the, the, uh, the images that are driving the most engagement uh, to date. So you can also see more. And then also you've got stories. So then it's going to show you your, your current story. And then this is a really interesting fact. Uh, this diagram is a ton of information for you, but it's showing you specifically on the day that you're on today, what the best times to post are. So this is really excellent insights. 9 a.m. is the highest traffic uh, point. So that would be a time where you maybe want to post your photo to get the most engagement with your photo to get the most likes, to get the most views. So using this graph daily is a fantastic tool and it changes daily. So it's not always the same. You'll find that, you know, Thursdays it might be 9 a.m., but Fridays it could be 7 p.m. And it adjusts depending on the people following you. So as you're building out your following, this continually evolves. And it really does make a difference because then if you have people on the East Coast and you're on the West Coast, different time zones, well, then, you know, depends on what your following is is located, like where that following is. If they're on the East and you're on the West, maybe you need to be posting more uh, towards their time zone. And you'll be able to figure out just based on this what's, uh, what's the most sensible approach. But uh, you can really dive into it. So if I actually expand on the graph, I can now look at different demographic information. And if you look at this, so majority of the people checking me out are men, 59%. Makes sense because it's a men's apparel company. So I've got them specific to that group. Uh, this is an interesting one. Ages 25 to 34 are checking me out. I could see that because my brand is a little bit more of a mature type of brand. So maybe the younger category isn't, um, you know, as, as on board with it, but they still are checking it out. Interested that the ages 35 to 40, 30, 35 to 44 are actually looking at this. I mean, you know, there's, there's that opportunity. Of course, if I was to focus on the 25 to 34 demographic, that would be really good. These are quality marketing insights that you can't get anywhere else other than, you know, Google Analytics, which takes time to build out as well. But this is something that I've been able to capture within, within a week of building my following. I've been able to capture this information and it's relatively accurate, I would say. Surrey, Los Angeles. Interesting that Los Angeles is up there. Uh, it is targeted as a U.S. brand, so um, I'm trying to go after the American. Um, New, New York is coming up. Of course, being that I live in Surrey, a lot of my friends and family are checking it out, so they're maybe skewing the, the results, but Surrey is definitely showing up. Uh, and then again, now we can expand on the different days. So we've got, you know, Friday, Saturday, you see how the graph changes every single day it's it's different but you want to kind of lock in on you know those specific times that would really work out well and then you can actually look at you know the days and what what is the best day to post maybe you can only post like once a week well friday might be the day to check out you can expand on what it means and then look at further details but Absolutely fantastic marketing insights. 
that you just simply cannot get um, to this detail in such a short time in, in most other aspects. So uh, definitely worthwhile to build out your business Instagram page. If you haven't done that, do so. Convert it so that it's a business linked account. Um, that way you can get these insights. Uh, if, if they haven't changed it, I needed about 100 followers in order to capture insights. So you need to reach 100 followers before you can see those specific details. But if you follow the steps, it doesn't take long to get to uh, that many followers. You just follow the strategies mentioned in the previous videos and you're, you're good to go. So that's the, uh, the insights page. And um, you can build it out even more. So you can have, when you have promotions going, so I'll show ads in another video. If you've got an ad going, then that's going to show you even more insights, how that promotion is doing and, you know, what post is working well in terms of advertising. So um, insights can be built out even more, but the material that you get there is, is so insightful that um, it's a fantastic starting point, especially when you're trying to figure out what your brand is all about. And you're like, mm, I don't really know what the demographic is yet. Instagram will kind of dictate it for you. It'll, it'll, it'll say, hey, look, these are the people that are checking you out fantastic fantastic uh insights that um that are free you don't need a you don't need a marketing marketing analyst to figure to figure that stuff out it's it's right there it's easy it's at your fingertips it's on your phone so huge huge video here is is the insights and checking checking that area out and really looking at it analyzing it and articulating your marketing strategy around those insights.